Hello everyone, my name is Skits and welcome to episode 19 of Skyrimas Weekly. I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you for watching. First mod we'll be taking a look at is called Down of Riften by Blue Piano 2. This mod is a third installment in Morator's City Overhaul series, where he aims on making cities more alive and lore friendly. Instead of just placing random trees and clutter, he hand placed every new piece into the game for the best visuals and functionality. This time he focused on Riften. As we know, Riften is one of major holes in Skyrim, but it is definitely not as clean as innocent as it looks in base game, so Mahatra decided to change his visual. First thing you'll notice are new ladders and hatches all around the city. Since Riften is a home of thieves, these were created for an easy and more fitting access to houses for thieves that roam around city. Next thing you'll notice are hanging creeps and racks. These are not as frequent as ladders, but there is enough of them to give Riften a look of a dirty town while still not being over the top and staying true to lore. You can also find more rats roaming around city, especially near Ratway and canals. While we are at canals, you may have noticed that there are now twisted stairs leading to it and Ratway also has glorified entrance. Some minor changes were also done to the market. You can now buy stuff from two new merchants, one of them also sells Morrowind goods and you will need Dragonborn DLC for him to work properly, but there is also a version for those who don't own it. Other than that you can also find lore friendly letters through city and all these new changes were done with new models and textures. Now even though it may seem like a lot of changes, almost no buildings were touched and Riften still has its original atmosphere. Overly, Marta did a very good job and I definitely recommend this mod along with two other mods from his series. Next up we have Rand's HD Shrines by Wrangle. This mod retextures all shrines in Skyrim. Until now there were not many mods that improved or changed something about shrines, almost as if mod community forgot about them. But now that changes thanks to Rand. Now the best thing about this mod is that it doesn't completely change the look of shrines, but only improves it. As you can see on comparison shots, shrines still generally look same, but especially the textures and details are now a lot better. For example on Juliana's shrine, you can now see gold ornaments that were previously hidden by dark design, or Tal's shrine now looks more glorious and mighty, and it doesn't look so dull like in vanilla game. Now if you want to see a detailed description of each shrine, Mato created the nice one on mod page, you can also find all details that were changed right in there. All new textures are 1024 by 1024 which means they are doubled of vanilla size and also you don't have to worry about any performance hits, I personally haven't noticed any and you are safe to download these even if you have low end PCs. Overly, Mata did a very good job and if you are looking for a texture that will improve shrines a lot without changing too much about them then this mod is for you. Moving on we have Vivid Landscapes Bird Signs by Aaron. This mod textures bird signs. Now if you are not new to modding, then you probably know Moatra's Vivid Landscape series, where he already retextures ton of landscape like mountains, dungeons, cliffs and a lot more. This is actually first time I take a look at one of his mods, even though I tried all of them and definitely recommend them. Like I mentioned, this time he focused on bird signs. Now if you don't know what bird signs are, they are those huge stones that you can find near Helgen and then separately all around Skyrim and they give various blessings. As you can see on comparison shots right now, vanilla signs don't look very good, just like most of vanilla stuff, they are washed out and don't offer much details. Vivid version on the other hand offers way more details, it looked deeper and detailed to me, you can see almost every little stone on it, and ornaments carved into bird signs now definitely look a lot better as well. Mat comes in 5 versions and it is suitable for both low end and high end PCs. It is also recommended to use this mod with an EMB, but there is a version for non-EMB users as well. Overly, Mata did a good job, I liked it and you should go ahead and download it. Now let's take a look at Transparent and Refractic Icicle and Frost Atronach by Skysense4298. This mod changes appearance of both icicles and frost atronachs. First let's take a look at icicles. Now as we all know, vanilla icicles are painful to look at, since players don't usually pay attention to them, but Desta did not as well. But if you will take a closer look at them, you can see that they don't have any details and are just big blocks of ice. But that all changes thanks to this mod. It makes them look more realistic and detailed. As you can see they now reflect light, you can see tons of small details on them. Or you can even see through them a little bit, which seems realistic to me. Now let's move on to Atronax. In vanilla, they again look like they are made of big blocks of low res ice. With this mod on, they of course look a lot better. They look like they are made of small shards of ice. And as you can see on compression shots, it really looks different and amazing. Only small problem with this mod is that it doesn't work with an EMB that use temporal AA. Icicles will twitch and look weird, but Mater is working on a fix that may already be out by the time I release this video. 
So Orly, this mod is definitely must have for me from now on and I definitely recommend it. Next up we have MBVS followers renewal by MBVS. This mod adds 7 new female followers into the game and additional 3 if you own DLCs as well. Now you may possibly know some of these since they were already released as standalones before but now I'm about to release one master file with all of them. As you can see they all come with beautiful custom face and hair and of course they are not lore friendly but if you don't really care about lore and you want some good looking followers you should check them out. Now let's take a quick look at each one of them. First we have Kotoane who is Kunoichi and can be found in War Maidens. She prefers dual one handed weapons, light armor and archery and has 9 perks like overdraw, ranger or quick shot. Next up we have Sarat, the Berserker, who can be found in Dragon's Reach. She uses two handed weapons and has 8 perks, for example Juggernaut or Barbarian. Moving on we have my favorite one, Carrie Greymane, the Shield Sister, who can be found in Vinetrans Hall of Death. She uses one handed weapons, heavy armor and has master blocking and also comes with 10 perks. Next up we have First Magician, Natalie, who can be found in Winterhall's Frozen Heart. She uses Destruction and Alteration Magic and comes with 7 spells and 5 perks. Now let's take a look at Cecily. Flame Mage who can be found in Archmage Quarters. She prefers Flame's Destruction, Alteration and Restoration Magic and has 7 spells and 6 perks. And the last one is Ruka, the Dragon Sherman who can be found in the Arcanium. She uses Shack, Necromancy and Conjuration Magic and she comes with 4 spells and 6 perks. In combat girls work mighty fine as well and if you'll use them they will be a great addition to your squad. Moving on we have Yakuru by Tumba Jamba and Dragon Porn. This mod adds a new mount into the game. Now since my author did not leave any information about him on mod page and I had no idea what Yakuru is, I googled him and for all of you that don't know who he is just like me, it appeared in Princess Mononoke, a Japanese animated movie as a mount of one of the characters. First thing you'll need to do is buy a spell tone from Farangar and then you can summon your own Yakuru. As you can see it has a very unique look, it looks a little bit like mountain goat but it has a lot longer horns and it is also as big as small horse. It of course has a custom mall and textures and I think that it could also fit in lore as an already mentioned mountain goat. I also think that it is a little bit faster than usual horses and riding around it was less glitchy and more fun even though it can swim. Now I personally really like the Acro, I will definitely use it from now on and if you're a fan of movie or you like unique mounts then this mod is for you. Next up we have Pine Tree Lodge by Eleonora and Ellers Sunways. This mod adds a new player home into the game. You can find it south of Falkreath. Now this is one of most complex houses I ever saw. First thing you want to do is go to mod configuration menu and allow all the awesome features. Now let's move on to house itself. First the exteriors. As you can see house is located in beautiful nature in some sort of cave that has a nice relaxing atmosphere. Enough about that and let's move on to features. Other than some basic things like crafting station, you can find mill, apiary and fishery here and then some special features. My favorite one was archery station that you can see on screen right now, I had a lot of fun with it. Outside you can also find your own spider merchant, farm and garden. As soon as I went inside I saw Eleonora's works immediately. You can find tons of static clutter and decoration here that look amazing but there are of course tons of special features here as well. You can have your own bard, custom decorations, dynamic or static storages, Staff Enchanter, Spider Crafting, Kids Room or an interactive chessboard that allows you to bet and a lot more. So well, like I said there are tons of different unique features here and house also has a very nice visuals. It is probably my new favorite house mod and I definitely recommend it. And yeah guys I guess that's it for episode 19 of our Skyrim Mods Weekly. I hope you enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, tell me what you think about it in the comments, leave a like on my Facebook page, subscribe for more Fallen Skyrim content and I will see you next time.